Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back on Royal.ArconHQ.net on the brand new Prisons Realm that just released literally 25 minutes ago, okay? I haven't really done anything, I just hopped on, created the Team Royal Cell for this Versus series, and invited our first member. So this season of Prisons, we are actually doing a Versus series, and I think it's gonna be kind of a crazy one. We are doing a Versus series against the youtuber mezoid all right now most of you know mezoid is a hcf youtuber and he's never played archon prisons before so i could just off the rip recruit a super sweaty cell but i'm definitely not gonna do that i kind of want this versus series to kind of be close i mean obviously you know your boy's coming out with the dub that's that's no question but for right now i'm just gonna keep team royal with one member i will be recruiting later into the season and if you guys even want to try and beat me you guys can hop on and grind using you know royal.archonhq.net get some good items and i guess try and join mezoid i don't have any requirements to join right now but I'm not going to invite you if you guys don't have like any items at all. So be sure you hop on, grind out for a couple of hours, get yourself some items. And then I don't know, who knows, maybe you guys could join. But anyways, it is start of the world, okay? The server released literally 27 minutes ago. And if I go into my slash claim, me and Mezoid should have the same exact items. So we're going to have a heroic key bundle right here. Boom, accept that a November monthly crate and a bomb bundle right here. And actually, am I missing my P mine? Oh my God, we need a P mine. We'll get that sorted in a second though. That's no worries. So off the rip, taking a look at these rewards, a dimension hopper pickaxe, a void backpack. Like if we have to win one, we will take a void backpack, but I rather have that dimension hopper pickaxe, especially since we are going to have a private mine this season. Tokens, obviously very good. Token boosters I will take as well. So let's just go ahead, hop into the November monthly crate right now. I'm going to turn my sounds way down and we are going to drop this thing. And then we are just going to start spinning all of the rewards to see what we actually get. I'm hoping to see a pickaxe in these rewards, guys. Or keys, tokens, just something decent to start off. Ooh, money actually would be good. And okay. No dimension hopper pickaxe, it looks like. Slash Nick, tag uncommon crates, that's terrible. 50k tokens, 100k tokens, 50k. 3 to 6 rare. Ah, uh, that wasn't the best monthly crate, but I guess it wasn't the worst. We're gonna have a ton of keys, though, because we did get a heroic key bundle. So let's just go ahead and start ripping these things open. I'm looking for money or tokens, basically, from these, because I doubt... We are going to win a dimension hopper from a crate key or like, can you win an upgrader bow from these? I don't even know since the update, but we are starting off with like $250 million. That is actually really good. And we have to open up all of these uncommon crate keys, bro. These aren't good at all. I don't think, oh wait, no, we won like 25 mil from it. I will actually take that. Oh, and yo, I don't even think I got into who I invited to the cell off rip. You guys should already know him. To be honest, if I IS who we went ahead and invited flush now. Flush is not only a grinder, but he knows exactly what he is doing on prisons. The guy knows all the ins, all the outs of this prison's realm, so we just had to send him an invite, and I have 13 vote keys for some reason, okay? Now we are moving on to the legendary keys. You can actually win some pretty good rewards from this. Two boss lures might not actually be bad, bro. I might actually kill- what the- what, what the? No shot, this guy's L dancing on me, bro. I mean, I'm only taking W's this season. You guys already know. Didn't win anything too good from the legendary crate keys. We're going to move on to the epics. Maybe a void backpack from this would be a huge win. But, oh, five enchantment crate keys. Yo, off rip, if we could get a little lucky for like a token scan 100 book. At least, okay, maybe not. Okay. Um, we got an efficiency 100. Yeah, that is pretty useless. Last epic key right here. We always let the last one roll. We'll see what we actually end up getting, bro, because we got smoked on these crates. I can't cap and, um, okay, three more rare keys. Wait, we were one off of a dimension hopper pickaxe, I think. That is actually annoying, but we won 200 mil from this rare crate key. That is actually extremely good. So to start off, 320,000 tokens and 600 million dollars. Not really any items for the most part. Um, oh yeah, here's our private mine as well. Let's go ahead, boom, claim that private mine right there. And I am just going to rank up max. Is that the is that the command? No, it's like R max. Oh no. So we are at mine V to start off the season already. And here's actually the private mine. Yo, wait, P mine go. Is this thing glitched? There's no way this is a small private mine, bro. There's actually no shot. I'm shook. Upgrade private mine. The next upgrade is medium. Only 100,000 raw blocks. 
I might just literally complete that today. You guys already know Kit Godfather. Grab all of this. It starts you off with Fortune 200 which we will go ahead and take, obviously. So boom, boom, boom. We also do have all of these candy bombs from the candy bundle that we got on Start of the World. I doubt Mizoid is going to know what to do with these, to be honest. So we already have a fat advantage. But the goal of this episode is to pretty much get a maxed out pickaxe because I do have flushed online and that is the ultimate duo right there. So if we MC flushed, man is already fishing and he is actually fishing for candy. That is because on Start of the World, um, obviously nobody really has candy, but if you do, you progress through the mines extremely, extremely fast. Oh, yo, and no shot. Mizoid just hopped onto the realm. Guy's already slacking, bro. I rolled out of bed about 30 minutes ago just to hop straight onto prisons and get to mining. But uh, right now, we're not really going to be... Yeah, I don't think we're making like any type of money. There we go. We just finally got the private mine to reset. Dude, that took a fat minute, but I'm about to see how much money we're making now. So the reason why you want to have somebody fishing for candies on start of the world, if you could have like a duo is obviously to use these Jolly Ranchers, okay? Because if you pop these things, your backpacks are going to fill up insanely fast. Wait, whoa, whoa. Did they nerf them this season or is the server kind of lagging? There are almost 300 players on, so that is probably why. But we do have two 300 slot backpacks. So I just want to see how much money we are making from a full inventory. And I believe they buffed Atomic Warheads again this season. Last season, I swear they were buns. So hopefully they're better this season. But you see, Mizoid is not going to know anything about these candies. He's not even going to know what he's doing with that bomb bundle that we got. So basically, I'm going to get to rank Z. And then I am going... Or you know what? We'll get there whenever we get there. Just know I know exactly what i am doing okay so boom just use one jolly rancher the backpacks are almost completely filled up sell inventory 52 million dollars already so i'm actually gonna pay this money to flushed because flush needs money for bait and he needs money to upgrade the rod we just sent him over a hundred million and wait i just realized i have mc i can see exactly what mizoid does the entire season i don't know is that cheating you guys let me know everybody on the server if you guys didn't know can uh you slash mc you just have to have the perms to the command like you can win it so i don't know if that's necessarily cheating you know that's just vet plays out of the kid because i've been playing for so long but we do have three hundred seventy-eight thousand tokens right now so what i am actually going to do is we are going to upgrade this pickaxe just a little bit more i'm going to put token scan on this pickaxe even though we are not going to be using this one for the entire season because you can't disenchant fortune but for right now let's go ahead and um i don't know Ooh, we can only do like 500 levels right there. That is not the greatest, but whenever Flush gets like the maxed out fishing rod and stuff, we will be chilling. And wait, he just said candy's in vault. Yo, look at this. Already, we are stacking up. And I forgot, bro, high key starbursts are going to be insane on start of the world, bro. Because if we take a look, receive a 3x token boost for 90 seconds. I'm going to start popping these right now. And yeah, this is pretty much the best strategy for start of the world. You got to have yourself a duo which I don't think Mizoid has, and even if he does have a duo that, you have to have some sort of knowledge for what you're doing. He doesn't know anything about fishing, nothing about the candies. We're about to blow him out of the water on the first episode. But again, I'm not trying to sweat too hard against him, okay? So the goals for this episode, I would say, is to reach mine Z, try and get a maxed out pickaxe. I don't know how hard that's really gonna be, but we're gonna try and definitely get this private mine to the medium upgrade. So for right now, the best strategy is to get as many levels on token scan as possible. Possible, but I'm also going to claim these candy bombs right now, I believe. Because whenever we reach mine Z, I'm going to sell all of the useless candy. Yo, what is actually happening? Nah, the server, the server is glitched right now. What is this? Uh, my inventory is getting filled up. And I don't know from what. Yo, what the? Like, look at this. I just made another 63 mil. Is this thing still going? I, I don't know. Yo, is this a bug? I think that was an enchant because it just stopped or something just happened. I have zero clue as to what that was, but that was lit. I I'll take it. I don't know. But for right now, guys, let's go ahead and claim some of these candy bombs. I'm going to change these backpacks to candy. And we're going to get to this right now because we actually have a lot of candies to claim. So boom, boom. We are just going to continuously do this. Our inventory is going to get full, but that is absolutely fine because we just want the candies which our backpacks are collecting. All right, so we just finished claiming all of the candy. And if we take a look in the backpack, I don't know what we got yet. Oh my god, a ton of warheads, bro. 
Let me actually claim all of these because warheads are pretty good this season, I think. So we have a bunch of warheads all going into PV2 right here. And then we have a bunch of Jolly Ranchers and the rest I'm going to sell. Okay, even if they're Starburst, you could use them, but we are going to sell them just to make as much money as possible because right now we got infinite candy for a long time. I'm actually going to tell Flush to stop fishing for candy because we just don't need them. Also, another thing Mizoid is not going to know, slash XP shop, we are going to grab a 2x token booster because we just have so many candies and I am about to grind like crazy right now. So guys, we're going to go ahead, get settled in over here. I am going to mine through these ranks for at least a little bit, store up some tokens, keep upgrading the pickaxe. You guys already know the vibes. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll bring you guys back in a second all right guys so i've been mining for maybe like an hour off camera right um we are making ridiculous progress insanely fast this is the fastest i've ever ranked up before and that is because i usually never have candies like to myself on start of the world like never it's always like the second day or like the third day but this season we got it right off rip and we are progressing dumb fast if i just take a look at my pickaxe okay boom Check this thing out. Maxed out fortune, and we can't upgrade token scan until we reach prestige three, because at the moment, I have a million tokens. By the way, whenever I say maxed out pickaxe, I just mean like the basic enchants, because like thunderstorm, shadow clones, all of that, those are going to take forever to max out, because they're like 15 million tokens to like fully upgrade or something like that. But like a maxed out pickaxe on start of the world is going to be like maxed fortune, max token scan, XP, mining party, luck, replenish, like just the basic enchants, all right? But we do have enough money right Right now to rank up to mine z we are currently killing it because if i do slash is top we're on there as a duo now granted you know the next plot is way ahead of us but this is actually duck gang right here definitely very very good players and we'll get up there very very shortly because now we are at mine z which means it is time to sell this entire backpack of candy wait pause right after we grab those jolly ranchers we are going to be selling all of this in here and hopefully it's worth a decent amount of money so to sell this slash candy you just come over here these are all like pretty much useless candies by the way um i get i, I don't even use gobstoppers ever so yeah we just don't need them and i'd rather sell them to get money right now i will take another stack of starbursts and let's go ahead and sell everything so you come over here to the candy npc and then you just sell all candy boom there we go how much did we just make hundred thousands millions billions trillion one point one trillion dollars from that and we already have enough to hit a couple prestiges i'm hoping at least prestige three. Oh, let's go so close to prestige five bro let's go so let me just go ahead do slash mine we are at the prestige one mine right now but we only need 500 billion dollars wait yo that might actually be nothing hold up p mine go you guys already know the vibes warheads are ridiculous this season by the way and let's go ahead and max out token scan right now because, uh, boom, yeah, token scan is now maxed. Um, we still have 120k tokens. Let's go ahead and get some speed onto this pickaxe. We'll go ahead and do like a thousand levels of that. Max out haste real quick. Oh, wait, we can't afford it. Okay, we're broke. It's all good. We're about to make mad tokens right now. So I'm going to pop a warhead right here. Warheads this season are crazy, bro. Like, they are the best candy on the server without a doubt i need to start upgrading my backpacks here very soon as well because they fill up extremely fast so whatever amount of tokens we get from these candies i am going to use on a backpack but there we go like inventory is already full and the thing is is it keeps going and look at that we made 17 billion dollars from one inventory that is like literally broken bro and we already got another full inventory another 16 bill right there like warheads they're just insane and while like you guys can see it's automatically mining right now so while that's going you just pop yourself another jolly rancher and already another full inventory another 16 billion like you can get almost five six inventories from one warhead bro i mean unless obviously you have a lot more backpack space which i just don't have at the minute and just like that we already have another 500,000 tokens so let's go ahead upgrade some of these backpacks real quick a thousand slots 500k we're gonna go ahead and do it and let me check on mezoid bro how is mezoid actually doing okay so he's using candies that is a good look for him his backpacks pretty much the same as mine just down horrendous and oh my god look at this dude's pickaxe bro compared to mine it's it's just not even close he has fortune level 200 because he's using the godfather pickaxe 
Token scan at level 70. We have token scan level 3,750. There's just no comp, bro. So this has been the, like, one of the best start of the worlds I've ever had, dude. Like, easily. And, um, taking a look, I just realized I have a bunch of money pouches. And I think they're actually kind of decent whenever you're below prestige 5. Wait, 100,000 million. But never mind, I lied. So anyways, guys, let me go ahead, take a cut. I'm going to mine to prestige 5, which really shouldn't take that long. Because slash rank up or slash prestige... We only need another 379 billion. I'm going to save all the tokens we get from that. And we're going to throw some more upgrades onto the pickaxe. And yeah, I'll just see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I've been mining for like 20 to 30-ish minutes. I have almost another trillion dollars. So that should be more than enough to hit this prestige five already on the first episode, bro. So here we are at the prestige five mine. We can now start getting ruby ore, bro. Let's go. But I'm actually gonna go to my P mine because I just wanna see how much money we are making. Right now, we have two trillion levels. I think we might actually be one of the richest players on the server on start of the world. Like obviously not even close to the richest because that is one clap, but we are pretty high up there on the server right now. So I wanna see how much we're making in inventory real quick. I also have 4 million tokens that I'm about to spend right now and we just sold our first inventory for 50 million or billion dollars pretty much so there we go we're already good for another inventory boom 47 billion yeah we're making stacks dude i'm about to check is top here in a second but i don't think a lot of players are even prestige five right now so let's just go ahead finish off the eight seconds of this jolly rancher oh and a reese just reached prestige five as well so boom just finished off the jolly rancher let's just go ahead and sell whatever uh we have left in our inventory boom and let me check is top bro because i am actually curious and oh my god we are in the sixth position again as a duo yeah i would say this has been an extremely great start of the world bro definitely the best i've ever had but i think that's gonna do it for the first episode i'm about to start recording the second episode legit right after this i have four million tokens to spend in that intro but yeah that's gonna go ahead and do it for the first one so if you guys want to come check out the server royal.archonhq.net for the server ip if you guys want to support me in any way or you're just you know hashtag team royal in the versus series and if you guys need a free first rank on any realm on the archon it doesn't even have to be prisons you guys could use code royal to go ahead and grab that but yeah with all that being said i hope to see you guys on the server and i will see you guys in the next episode of the versus series